Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 mods. This week we got some pretty sweet nifty weapons and some other cool mods, so let's take a look at them. Non-lethal armory by Seb263. Adding on to the knockout framework we reviewed last week, melee weapons can now knock out enemies. Along with this, some extra features have been added like non-lethal shotgun mods and a stun grenade. Oh no! Shotgun mods include both the combat and double barrel shotguns, so you can use whichever you prefer. Knockout Framework is also compatible with MCM now, which allows you to adjust a plethora of settings. Militia Rifle by Rob Palmer The Commonwealth gunsmiths have begun production on a new rifle. The Militia Rifle is a lore-friendly, customizable, and level-scalable weapon that looks and shoots great. There are 10 receivers, 4 barrels, 6 stocks, 4 magazines, 6 sights, a compensator, and a suppressor. Personally, the texture is a little bit too shiny for me, but otherwise, this is a great looking weapon. Nuka Cola Weapons by Tender Salt. Nuka Cola lovers are in luck with this weapon pack sporting 18 Nuka Cola themed weapons. Plus, since these do have a base in vanilla weapons, they can be modded as well. Most mods involve being upgraded to quantum variants, which will cause more damage, with that quantum taste added. The weapons will play the Nuka World theme song, very lightly though, so when you're out there killing people, you got some sweet tunes too. There's even a gun that shoots cram, which... That's, it's kind of... It's, it's gross. I don't, I don't want this gun. These all look very wacky and are perfect for the Nuka Cola lovers out there. Cross, Break Action Laser by Nero. Our laser weapon for this week is an excellent looking one with plenty of mods to choose from. You've got five cores, three grips with an option for none, ooh, five sights, six muzzles, and eight skins, with some of them being an optional download. The mod comes with one or two skins and then the rest are going to be low resolution. If you want the full textures, you have to go to gumroad.com. All this information is on the mod's description page, but I just want to go over it. Besides that, though, this is an extraordinary weapon that is absolutely beautiful. HUD++ by Cassent. This adds a nice amount of information when you look at objects on their own or in containers without having to go into transfer mode. Objects now show value, weight, value per weight, and player's current carry weight state. Other items like weapons, armor, food also show additional information pertinent to their use. Weapons and armor show enchantments, medicine shows its effects and duration, and fusion cores even show how much charge is left. MCM is also supported and allows you to change a few options based on your playstyle. Very useful mod for getting a quick glimpse at anything around you. Big B's Apartment by Bloodmeat08 Located directly west of Huber's Comics, this apartment is in a lovely neighborhood filled with only a few violent raiders. Inspired by Telltale's The Wolf Among Us, this apartment is really well fleshed out. The wood-finished lobby is absolutely lovely with a desk for a greeter and a few chairs and couches for guests. Only one door works here, and that's the first elevator, which will take you up to Big B's floor. Inside is a very lived-in apartment with some great windows that have exterior views. Because that, what, what other, what other views would they have me? Who wrote this, Jameson? The kitchen is to your immediate left, with cabinets opened and plates and bottles on the floor, just like I like it. There's even a custom radio. Oh, oh, get away from me! The living room is filled with empty noodle bowls and liquor bottles, along with a lovely air conditioning unit. Oh yeah, look at those turbines turn. There's also a table in the main room if you want to get real fancy and do your homework, and also a desk if you want to do even more homework, I guess. Oh wait, no, one of them's for eating and- okay, I got it. On the right side of the desk is the bathroom, as seen here. And on the other side is your bedroom. You've got a radio, yeah. bed, and even a workbench. The detail for the exterior windows is really well done, and being able to look out and see, while not a great view, it's mainly just, you know, other brick buildings, it's still more believable than simply having grimy windows, plus it looks good. There's also light switches for every room, so when nighttime comes around, you can scare them ghosts away. Weird Mod of the Week! Umbrella Muzzle by M. Meet the Umbrella Muzzle. 
This groundbreaking new product from M Industries allows you to attach an umbrella to combat rifles and shotguns. Embrace the ability to have a faint idea of where your enemies are while shooting wildly. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. Hope you all enjoyed. I know I did. As always, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments, and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and I shall see you in the future. Away. Away.